Let's be honest, none of these rappers are on my level flow Kissed by an angel, but it's hotter than the devil dough People say I'm extra, but don't forget terrestrial The label tried to blackball me, now they on my Tesla I got kids watching, couldn't finish that sentence These other rappers are old news, we tell them good riddance What's up guys, it's only Ninja Warring, Avery the Ninja Super Robot, And welcome to the Modern Ninja And this is yet another tutorial, a two-part maybe three part tutorial on how to do the combination with a sword that you see me doing in the beginning of this video. So if you wanna do this combination or something like it, the first thing you're gonna to need to get is a demo sword. Demo swords are aluminum and not sharp, so you can do fancy tricks without worrying about catching the blade because it won't actually cut you. They're typically made of aircraft aluminum. Mine is hydro dipped and I honestly need a new one because mine is kind of messed up by, at this point, but it is great for training and tricking and performing. Links is always down below. But let's get into the first part of this combination. We're gonna move a little bit guys. It's too loud over there I feel like. And I don't want to, uh, I don't know be speaking and then have my video be ruined because everybody was too loud in my video. So we're moving. So again, back to the video. We're gonna be doing our ob anti spin our, sorry, with our sword coming in front and behind just like so, and then grabbing with two hands. This is our beginning position. You're gonna step out with the left leg and you're going to strike across towards that corner, striking high. Your target is gonna be high. For this type of sword work, it's this tricking type of sword work, your cuts are going to be very sharp and to the point. And so you're, when you step out, you extend that right hand, the hand that's on top, you extend it, make sure it's straight, and you follow that line, making sure to keep your front knee bent and your back leg straight for good stance work. And then what you're going to do is you're going to look towards the, the uh, knee, you're actually going to Rotate in, turn, drop the knee, and strike to the ground. So one more time. From here, you're actually going to rotate your sword in. You're going to turn your stance. You're gonna drop your back knee to the ground and strike at this low angle here. When you do it all together, it becomes bang. Nice and smooth from there to there, all right? Then once you're here, you're actually going to imagine there's someone over here that you just hit, you just block, hit someone else. You're gonna grab them, angle your sword toward that imaginary person, stand up, stepping towards them, and strike. Just like this, it's just a simple stab strike. So one more time, we've done our forwards, backwards, and ready position right here. Stepping out to the corner into our front stance. Strike high, rotating to our knee, strike low. And again, be careful on your knees. Practice somewhere like grass or something like that so you don't really hurt your knees when you're going fast. You're going to reach and grab that person, that bad guy, angle your sword towards them, stab as you shift your stance yet again into a front stance towards the stab. Now this spin is kind of unique. And so I'm gonna break down the spin first. <clears throat> when you spin, you're actually going to take that knee that, that's bent, right? And you're gonna step together, facing the away from where your audience is, you guys being my audience. So again, you're here. Take that left leg, that bent knee, step around together. You're gonna look over your shoulder and your legs are going to shoot out in a front stance towards the corner with your right leg going out towards the corner and your back leg staying nice and straight. I'm actually gonna angle down for you guys so you can see it a little bit better. From your stab, you step together, look over your shoulder, and shoot out in your front stance towards that direction. As you do that, you're going to strike across. As you spin, uh, right after you spin, you're gonna strike across just like so towards your bottom right corner. Being together, look over your shoulder, shoot out, strike down. So one more time, you just grab, bang, stab. 
We're gonna step, grab hold of two hands together, look over, jump out, strike down. And all together, that becomes bang. From here, our last two strikes will be stepping together and uppercut, keeping that blade straight out like you like you're shooting out laser vision or something like that. So again, taking your right leg, stepping together and coming up. And then taking your same right leg, stepping out in a front stance and striking down. So one more time, you've just spun, bang. Right leg steps up and down. And when you put it all together, it ends up looking something like this. Figure eight, strike one, knee, grab, stab, step together, strike, up, down. Keeping your back straight and your front knee bent is always good. Having good stances and good posture makes your forms and combinations look so much better. Now in part two, I'm gonna be showing you the next step of this combination, which is the tricking part, the challenging part. It's really complex, so I wanted to make sure I did it in a part two so that you guys know exactly what to do, exactly how to do it. And honestly, it's just good to learn them separately anyway, just because it's relatively dangerous. Even using a tricking sword, it can be relatively dangerous. So it needs to be taken, uh, you need to take extra care and extra caution when practicing it. So until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.